you've made the move to working in 3D. Now optimize that effort by reducing your 2D workload. We've re-engineered our 2D drawing creation process to give you a first-class experience in generating 2D drawings from your 3D models. With a new feature called 2D Components for Hybrid Objects, you have a complete control over the 2D graphic representation and the level of detail in those graphics for your 3D objects. You can customize the style and look in a simple yet automated way. In previous versions of Vectorworks, you've been able to add a 2D component to hybrid objects, meaning you can have a single symbol or plugin object representing both the top plan and 3D views of an object. With Vectorworks 2019, we've updated symbols and plugin objects to also define elevation and cut plane views as well. Adding additional components for the cardinal directions commonly viewed in elevations would have been useful enough on its own, but we went a bit further and integrated cut component options as well. So, when an object has been sectioned, there are three additional 2D component options for the cut plane at the top, bottom, left, right, and front back. Rather than require that you manually draw out all these 2D components for all your existing objects, we built a semi-automated method of doing this right alongside the editing mode. When editing one of these elevation components, you'll see a right-click menu option called Generate 2D from 3D Component. This will create a line drawing, which can be done in a number of styles. We recommend using Hidden Line, since it best approximates the 2D view of your 3D object. From this starting point, modifications, and the addition of any desired embellishments can be done quickly. To make setup easier, we added an option that will slice prep time in half. Within Symbol Options or Plugin Component Options, there's an option titled Mirror Opposite View Graphics for Empty 2D Components. This setting is enabled by default, and it means that if you only created the top and left components manually, those components would automatically be mirrored to the bottom and right components, respectively. Rolled into this feature is the ability to control the levels of detail that can be displayed in each 2D component. There are low, medium, and high options for all line work within these components. You can still choose what level of detail is actively being shown in this editing mode in the component edit palette that appears whenever you're in this editing mode. When these different levels are displayed is controlled in one of two ways. The level of detail displayed on a design layer can be set to correspond to the active layer scale. Under Document Preferences, you'll see a setting under Display called Auto Display Detail Levels for Design Layers, and then two boxes to enter two different scales. The Low Detail component will be displayed on the design layer when its scale is below the value on the left. Medium will be shown when the scale is between the two, and High will be shown if the scale is above the value on the right. Second, each viewport has a detail level selection, letting you choose to show the level of detail you deem appropriate for that viewport. Often, this will be based on the viewport size or scale on a given page. In Vectorworks, 2D objects have had a stacking order and therefore stacking issues might arise with these hybrid objects. To enable you to handle these situations gracefully, we introduced a way for you to specify where in relation to the 3D geometry your 2D components should be located. For instance, in a plan drawing, chairs may appear to be stacked on top of a table because of the default location of the 2D top component that's at the top of the 3D geometry. We can edit the top 2D component of the chair, then click Edit Component Location. We'll then be taken to an edit view where we can specify the stacking height of the top component, which in most cases for a chair would be the height of the seat. Update that viewport. As we can see, the stacking has been corrected for all instances of the used symbol. The same can be done for the left, right, and front back components, as well as, most importantly, the sectioned components.